Fasten your seatbelts and activate adventure mode, because we're about to unveil the secrets of the 10 most enigmatic creatures on Earth, each one stranger and more fascinating than the last, promising to challenge everything you thought you knew about wildlife. Subscribe now and like if you're ready for this unforgettable journey. And don't blink, or you might miss the unbelievable bear life fish. Imagine diving into the dark waters of the ocean, where the sun dares not touch. There, among the shadows, floats the barrelai fish, a marvel of evolution. With its transparent head, it is a spy in the darkness, its tubular eyes pointing upwards, searching for the silhouettes of prey against the faint glow from above. These eyes, like two incandescent emeralds, are capable of capturing even the smallest glimmer of light, allowing the barrelai to unravel the mysteries of the endless abyss. Not only is its vision unique, but the barrel eye also has an internal structure that defies imagination. Its transparent skull acts as a protective shield for its eyes, while its dark, fusiform body is a master of camouflage. It moves with a ghostly grace, almost invisible to predators and prey alike. But the most fascinating thing is that, despite its alien appearance, the barrel eye shares the ocean with us, a reminder that there are still many secrets to be discovered in the depths of our own planet. Each encounter with this creature is a glimpse into a world that defies our understanding, a world where life continues to surprise and delight, even in the eternal darkness of the deep sea. Axolotl Back to the surface, where the magic of nature unfolds in calm waters, we find the axolotl, the enchanting Mexican salamander. With eyes that sparkle with childlike curiosity and perpetual smiles, these creatures seem to have come straight out of a fairy tale. But don't be fooled, the axolotl is a master of biology, boasting one of the most extraordinary abilities in the animal kingdom, regeneration. These incredible amphibians can not only regenerate lost limbs, but also internal organs and even parts of their brain, without leaving scars. Imagine a damaged heart that heals completely, or a lost limb that grows back, perfect in form and function. The axolotl does this with a facility that defies our understanding. They are the alchemists of nature, transforming ordinary cells into stem cells that rewrite the destiny of their bodies. In a world where permanence is an illusion, the axolotl reminds us that life is a tapestry of renewal and infinite possibilities. But perhaps most captivating is its place in mythology. To the ancient Aztecs, the axolotl was more than an animal. It was a deity, a guide to the afterlife, a symbol of transformation and mystery. Today, as they swim gracefully in their native waters, axolotls face threats that endanger their existence. They call us to action, to protect the wonders of nature before they become mere legends. The axolotl, with its resilience and beauty, is a reminder that each species is a masterpiece, a miracle of evolution that deserves our respect and admiration. Goblin Shark In the abyssal depths, where silence is king and darkness is eternal, dwells a creature that defies imagination. The goblin shark, a specter of the past, glides silently through the cold waters. With its pinkish, translucent skin, it is a glimpse of an ancient world that still persists in the shadows of the ocean. This shark is not just a remnant of a prehistoric era, it is a living enigma. Its elongated snout, lined with ampullae of Lorenzini, detects the heartbeats of its prey, while its small eyes suggest a vision that has given way to senses more adapted to the deep darkness. But don't be fooled by its fragile appearance. The goblin shark is a formidable predator. In an act that defies logic, it projects its jaw outward in a slingshot-like motion, capturing its prey with deadly precision. And although it is a slow swimmer, it compensates with the cunning of a hunter that has evolved to dominate a realm where few dare to enter. So next time you look at the waves, remember the goblin shark. A reminder that even in the darkest depths, life finds a way, a strange, wonderful, and utterly fascinating way. Lawfish. In the depths of the ocean, where the pressure is crushing, we find the blobfish, a fish that looks like it came out of a cartoon. With no eyes and a gelatinous face, it is proof that not everything in life is beautiful. But don't be fooled by its unusual appearance. The blobfish is a marvel of adaptation. Living at depths of 600 to 1,200 meters below the surface of the sea, this fish has no bones or muscles, which is ideal for life in the deep where the pressure is about 120 times greater than at the surface. This extreme pressure gives the blobfish its structural form, allowing it to float above the seabed and consume crustaceans, sea urchins, mollusks, and crabs that pass by. 
Despite its sad appearance when removed from its natural environment, the blobfish actually looks quite normal in its habitat, resembling a typical bony fish. They were even named the world's ugliest animal in a contest in 2013, but this fame doesn't do justice to their incredible ability to survive. The blobfish is also an example of longevity, with scientists speculating that they can live for over 100 years thanks to their slow growth rate and lack of predators. They are true survivors, masters of conserving energy, moving little and only opening their mouths to feed. So while its appearance may not be conventionally beautiful, the blobfish is a fascinating reminder that beauty lies in survival and extraordinary adaptation to the most extreme conditions on Earth. Aye aye. In the forests of Madagascar, where the secrets of the night intertwine with wildlife, lives the aye aye, a lemur like no other. With long fingers and a middle finger that looks more like a ghostly creation, it is a master of the night. Its piercing eyes shine in the darkness, capturing the moonlight and ensuring a truly chilling encounter. But the aye aye is more than just its intriguing appearance. It is one of only two animals that hunt using percussive foraging, a technique that involves tapping on trees to locate hidden prey. With continuously growing teeth and a skeletal middle finger, it pierces the wood to extract tasty larvae. This nocturnal primate is the largest in the world and has a varied diet that includes insect larvae, seeds, fruits, nectar, and fungi. And although it may seem solitary, the aye aye is a crucial animal for seed dispersal, contributing to the health of Madagascar's forests. Unfortunately, the aye aye is also one of the most endangered animals due to habitat loss and local superstitions that consider it a harbinger of bad luck. It is vital that we protect these remarkable creatures, not only for their uniqueness, but also for their irreplaceable role in the ecosystem. So next time you think of creatures of the night, remember the aye aye. Not as a symbol of fear, but as an emblem of the wonder of evolution and the diversity of wildlife that we still have the privilege to share on this planet. Tardigrade. Prepare to meet the tardigrade, a microscopic being that redefines the limits of life as we know it. Affectionately known as water bears or moss piglets, these tiny creatures are true superheroes of the microbial kingdom. Less than a millimeter long, they are almost invisible to the naked eye, but their feats are gigantic. Tardigrades can survive conditions that would be fatal for almost all other forms of life. They withstand temperatures ranging from near absolute zero to well above the boiling point of water. They can endure extreme pressures, far greater than those found in the deepest ocean trenches, and they can live without water for decades, entering a state of suspended animation called cryptobiosis. But perhaps the most surprising thing is that tardigrades have already traveled to space and returned alive. They were exposed to the vacuum of space and solar radiation, and yet they returned to Earth, ready to rehydrate and continue their lives as if nothing had happened. They are like many aliens among us, with a capacity for survival that scientists are still trying to fully understand. They are more than just survivors, they are explorers, inhabiting every corner of the planet, from the tops of mountains to the depths of the oceans, and even in urban environments, right under our feet. They are the masters of resilience, a reminder that in the vast tapestry of life, there are threads that are almost indestructible. So next time you think of superpowers, forget the comics. Look at the tardigrade, the tiny giant of the microscopic world, and marvel at the extraordinary power hidden in the simplicity of nature. Commodore Dog Back to the world of the furry, we find the Commodore Dog, a breed that is the very definition of uniqueness and impressiveness. With its dense white coat that resembles a mantle of cords, this giant dog is not only a formidable guardian, but also a symbol of strength and loyalty. Originating from Hungary, the Commodore was bred with one purpose, to protect flocks of sheep and other animals from predators such as wolves. Its coat is not just for show, it serves as camouflage among the sheep during the day and becomes visible to the shepherd at night. In addition, this dense layer of cords protects the Commodore from the elements and even from the bite of predators. But don't be fooled by its intimidating appearance, the Commodore is surprisingly agile and quick capable of leaping to the defense of its territory, home, or family if it perceives a threat. And despite their size, they are extremely affectionate with their owners, calm and quiet, content to lie down near their family, keeping watch over them. Maintaining this iconic coat requires work, it needs weekly care to keep it clean and looking its best. The texture of the coat changes over time, starting soft and shaggy in puppies and beginning to mat around 8 to 12 months, 
forming the characteristic cords that, over time, grow to reach the ground when the dog is about six or seven years old. So while the Commodore may look like a majestic lion, it is, in fact, a cuddly companion and a dedicated guardian. A reminder that sometimes, the cutest things come in big and imposing packages. Armadillo From the African savannas to the Argentine pampas, the armadillo is a mammal that carries its home on its back. With its rigid armor and nocturnal habits, it is a mystery that delights and intrigues. But there is much more to this little warrior than its carapace. The armadillo, with its armor of bony plates covered by scales, is a mobile fortress. These plates, known as a carapace, are composed of segmented bands that, in some species, allow the animal to curl up into a ball to defend itself. They are fast diggers, using their pointed snouts and long, sticky tongues to search for insects underground. Despite its poor vision, the armadillo compensates with a highly developed sense of smell. They hunt at night, guided by smell, and use sensory hairs along their sides and belly to feel their way. These mammals are not only survivors, they are ecosystem engineers, aerating the soil as they search for food and creating habitats for other species. But the armadillo also faces challenges. Many species are endangered due to habitat loss and excessive agriculture. The Brazilian three-banded armadillo, for example, is vulnerable and at risk of extinction. It is a reminder that even the most resilient creatures need our protection and respect. So next time you think of armor and castles, remember the armadillo. It is not just an animal, it is a symbol of resistance, a nature engineer, and a guardian of mysteries that we still have much to learn. Capybara. In South America, we find the capybara, the largest rodent in the world. Imagine a giant, friendly hamster that loves to swim and relax in the sun. Who wouldn't want one of these as a friend? But the capybara is much more than just a rodent of impressive size. With its robust body and short legs, the capybara is a true semi-aquatic marvel. It has partially webbed toes, ideal for swimming, and its thick, coarse fur dries quickly after a dip. Its eyes, nose, and ears are positioned high on its head, allowing it to stay submerged and still keep watch for predators. Social and gregarious, the capybara lives in groups that can range from 10 to 100 individuals, sharing complex bonds and communication. They are known for their docile nature and are often seen interacting peacefully with a variety of other species, including birds and even reptiles. In addition, the capybara has a herbivorous diet, feeding on grasses and aquatic plants, fruits, and tree bark. Interestingly, they also practice autocoprophagy, eating their own feces to obtain beneficial bacteria that help with the digestion of cellulose. So next time you come across a capybara, remember that you are looking at an extraordinary animal, an emblem of South American biodiversity and a reminder of the harmonious connection that can exist between all creatures. Orangutan To conclude our adventure, there is nothing better than an encounter with the orangutan, an intelligent and charismatic primate. Their expressive eyes and their ability to use tools remind us of our connection to the animal world. But there is much more to these incredible beings that inhabit the rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo in Southeast Asia. With their long arms that can extend up to two meters from tip to tip, orangutans are true tree acrobats. They spend most of their lives in the treetops, where they build nests to sleep and feed mainly on fruits and leaves, but also on nuts, bark, insects, and occasionally bird eggs. Orangutans are remarkable for sharing almost 97% of the same DNA as us, making them one of our closest living relatives. They are solitary beings, but they form special bonds between mothers and children, who stay together for six to seven years, the time it takes for the young to learn survival skills. Unfortunately, these magnificent mammals are on the endangered species list. Destruction of their natural habitat and illegal hunting have put their populations at serious risk. That is why we need to do everything in our power to help them, protecting their future and that of the forest they live in. So, when you look into the eyes of an orangutan, see more than just a wild creature. See a mirror of nature, a reflection of the intelligence and complexity we share with the animal world. And so we E&D our epic expedition into the realm of the unusual and wonderful. We hope that you have been dazzled by the most extraordinary creatures on our planet and that each discovery has broadened the horizons of your curiosity. Don't forget to activate the bell so you don't miss our next adventures. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most of all, keep wondering. Thank you for following us on this incredible journey.